hell? Oh, uh, no, 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 no. Wait, what was that? Why the light? Oh, no. Hello, YouTube. Komodo Gaming here. Bring you guys another episode of Stormworks Build and Rescue. And yes, folks, we are back once again. And today, we are going to be checking out this awesome new ship. And we're going to be checking out the update that has come out here in Stormworks. So as far as the ship, this is a GB Danny ship. This thing is absolutely massive. It takes a special mission to actually spawn it. The name is right here. And I'm not going to even pronounce it because I know I'll get it wrong. So think of today being basically an extra episode. We'll call it a bonus sinking Tuesdays. Which right now it's going to be sinking Saturdays. Which actually makes a little bit more sense name wise. But that is not the only thing that we're going to be doing here today. So we've got a new update. It's actually two game modes. One is called the permadeath mode, which that one's kind of self-explanatory. Uh, permadeath means once you die, your game is over. And I think that even applies to saves. Uh, that's probably something we're not going to touch on, but you've got this over here. Now, of course, fuel is a thing in the game right now, but... Now there's a game mode that actually makes it to where all the vehicles start with limited fuel. So a part of the update actually adds fuel tanks to parts of the island. So you'll actually have to manually fuel up a vehicle. Uh, there's one actually over in the hangar. So we'll probably test that out here at the end of the episode. But first we got some business to take care of. And that's this ship over here. So anyways, if you guys are enjoying Stormworks on the channel, maybe hit that thumbs up button. It helps out my channel. And I think we're ready to do this. Now, do keep in mind, it is going to be a little bit laggy here in the dock area. This ship is massive. Uh, it's in two parts. I think the split is... You can somewhat see the seams. Uh, the split's probably right around here, if I had to guess. Uh, maybe this area. So, we need to go down below deck. Uh, this is an old-timey passenger ship. And this is going to be a pretty special survival. Uh, because there is nowhere to hide in this ship. And when I say that, I mean the deck above... You gotta see where the helm is. It's actually at the back of the ship, and there's no cover. So, hold on. Let's go ahead and go back here. Uh, we need to go ahead and let's open the boilers up real quick. And we need to light them. So, let's go. Boom. There we go. So, the boilers are lit. Let's let them climb for a second. Kind of stabilize. Okay. And then we're going to go down on the steam valve. Now, you're going to hear the engine die a little bit, but give it a second. And the boilers are going to relight themselves. So, boom. There they go. Okay, boilers are relit. Okay, I think I can close the doors now. Alright, so the ship is idling at the moment. And we should be good to go. Alright, so let's go ahead and get rolling. We'll activate and we'll go on a little tour of the ship. But I just want to get away from this dock. That way we get the uh, best FPS possible here. So, yeah, I don't know how GB Danny cranks these things out. It's absolutely amazing the work that he does on the... Uh, on the workshop so let's go ahead and go to the back and this is what I mean by there is no cover in this ship uh, we're gonna walk back over here and this is where you actually control it <laughs> this is kinda crazy so there's your reverse engine let's go and go engine telegraph uh, let's go up okay so that should activate now do keep in mind this is not a fast ship it's obviously a very old ship uh, it's gonna start cruising here there we go I mean, it's not too bad once you think about it. So it's moving at a decent pace, I would say. So, anyways, our method of survival today is going to be the lifeboats. There shouldn't be any sort of diving uh, equipment aboard, but I think we've already came up with the rule. If there's lifeboats, no using diving equipment. So, to sink this thing, you're actually going to have to hit it with waves. I believe probably these little intakes here, water will get into them and actually fill the, the hole up. So, we've got that. Uh, let's go ahead and start at the front of the ship, and we'll kind of work our way back. Alright, so very front of the ship. This thing looks glorious, by the way. Hold on. Look at this thing in motion. Uh, let's go and go. There we go. Unpause it. Look at that. That is awesome looking. Uh, it's not the biggest ship we've ever checked out, but it's definitely something different, since it's an old-timey ship, and you'll really be able to tell that, well... Besides where it looks like there should be sails, but actually it's a steam engine. But once you go down below deck, you'll really be able to tell that it's got a really old-timey vibe to it. And I absolutely love it. Alright, so anchors are up here. Uh, you've got several cargo holds down here. Uh, you've got crane systems, so you can always lower the hatches or... Uh-oh. Oh, okay, that hatch looks like it's stuck. You know, I had a little issue earlier when I spawned this. 
Seems like the electronics sometimes freak out on this ship. Let's go check. Do we have power to the door? See? It did it again. Oh, no. Yeah, would you look at that? We don't seem to be moving anymore. I don't wonder if today's Stormwork update might have broken something. Look at that. The, uh... Yeah, those are down, too. But they're flashing. All the lights are flashing. Something has happened catastrophic uh, with the ship. Uh, we might not be going anywhere here, huh? Let's go ahead and go down... Uh, let's see. Is there any sort of batteries or generators? I don't know. Let's, uh, see if we can find something real quick. Something major has happened. Alright, so the ship has had another power malfunction. I'm trying to figure out what's going on. Uh, because obviously there is some sort of power here. It's still idling. But it's like all the electronics have failed on the ship. Now, I can't take this thing apart to see if I can track down the problem since it's a mission spawn. Let's spawn it in again and see if I can figure out what's going on here. Alright, so we're back aboard. All the doors are working right now, so... Oh. Oh, is this a... Were we in the wrong area for the boilers? Is there something else we're supposed to be cranking up here? Hold on, check this thing out. Is this the... Oh, this is the engine. Okay, so... Did we miss something here? Jeez, this thing is huge. Alright, hold on, let's go back here. I don't want to... Okay, this is the engineer's quarters, so this is going to be just actual uh, bedrooms and stuff like that, isn't it? Okay, so that's cargo hold. Alright, so what do we have going on here? Is this something where we need to be, or do we need to be up towards the boiler? Kind of need to jump down here real quick. Alright, so here's the huge motor here. I'm assuming this thing fully turns. I don't wonder what's going on, though. Uh, why this thing might be freaking out. Uh... We're gonna need to explore the ship a bit more, but at least you guys are, you're getting a look at the ship now. Uh, these are all engineer quarters down here. Here's your huge motor. Could you imagine trying to sleep while that thing's going off? That would probably be a little insane. Alright, so we're what in appears to be the main cabin area, so... I'm looking for some sort of power station. Maybe there's a way to light everything up. I don't know, something freaks out, like I said, in the electronics, so I'm kind of going up towards here. So this is officers' quarters, so it's deck officers, junior officers. There is so much bedding in this thing, it's actually kind of insane looking. Uh, senior officers, okay, so it wouldn't be here. Uh, what is down? Okay, this is B deck here. Okay, so let's go down. I'm assuming this is A deck or C deck? Uh, well, oh no, I just fell down again. Oh, I'm in the cargo hold. Oh man, this thing's got so much cargo space, it's absolutely insane. Alright, so we appear to be in a restaurant now. Still looking for that light switch. They're probably all together somewhere. Uh, let's see. So we got a restaurant area. Uh, we're gonna go back towards the front. So basically what I'm doing, I'm opening some of these doors. That way I'll have options to go below deck once we get moving. Uh, just in case the electronics fail again. So I'm giving myself some sort of, uh, survival options. Uh, just in case the doors jam up on us again. This is not like a modern ship. I'm not looking for some sort of emergency batteries for the door or anything. Alright, so we got a kitchen. How does GB Danny do this? This is ridiculous. Like, this thing is just fully detailed. It is so, so awesome. So, we got storerooms back here for the kitchen. Very cool. I think we've been through most of the ship, actually. Uh, because a lot of the ship is actual cargo which is down below us. Now, what this is over here, this is the fueling, or the refueling. Uh, I don't have the limited fuel mode on right now, so that's why uh, I don't think it's a fuel issue. It's some sort of electronic glitch, but we're still uh, still working it right now. All right, so this is called the smoking room, aka the cigar room. This is actually, this is classy looking. Like, I feel like we should be playing some classical music as we check this ship out. And let's see, we're gonna go down here. Man, this is like the... Is this first class or something? Uh, this seems like a really, really nice area. Like a reading room? Really? Oh, that is insane. State rooms? Yeah, these are definitely... Wait, would state rooms be a little higher class? It's more of them right here. Uh, we got some store rooms over here. Uh, let's go down towards the back here. Uh, pool. Wait, as in like... Pool? Oh, wait, what? They actually have a pool? Is that Was that a thing on ships back then? That's, well, that's something. That's actually kind of cool. I did not expect to see that in the back of the ship. I guess that's another luxury of having a little bit more expensive ticket on the ship. 
All right, so one last thing. These are the hatches. These lead down uh, towards the bottom. Uh, this is where I started to show you earlier before it glitched out. Now, my only concern is uh, if this thing glitches out, it releases the boats. So if this thing starts to go down, we'll have to actually, uh, yeah, we'll have to actually set on the boat and hopefully we'll be able to not go down with the ship and we'll just float off. I don't know how this is going to work. This is, might be a little messy. All right, we are powered up and we are rolling once again. Hopefully this goes a little smoother than last time. Uh, I'm not going to click any more door buttons. I'm wondering if that's what's shorting it out. So uh, the doors will have to just stay open. The only buttons I really need to click are the, uh, I guess the Davit button or the David, whatever people want to call it, uh, for the lifeboats. But that really should be it. Now there's another, is this another shoot button? Open coal shoot. Does this thing, uh, oh, you know what? I bet you it has two fuel tanks. That's why there's one on each side. All right. Seems to be good now. Yeah, we're moving. Everything seems to be powered up. Everything's looking good right now. Ah, the lights are actually on the helm. I probably should have turned those on earlier. All right, so yeah, everything's lit. You know, actually, it's not that much brighter down below deck than with the flashlight. It's uh, somewhat bright, but it looks like they're using these uh, yellow... What was that? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Did it just do it again? Oh, but we're still rolling, so we're good. Okay, so the only thing we have to keep in mind, the lifeboats are in a little bit of turmoil right now. Uh, what does that sound? Sounds like everything's trying to blow up on me. That's kind of scary, actually. All right, well, I guess while we still have power, we better go ahead and uh, let's get this thing rolling with the waves here. So we're going to go boom and let's go wind. Should we do, you know, we're not going to do, oh, no, that looks insane already. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're not going to do the, uh, not going to do any sort of rain, I don't think. We might do a tsunami. Depending on how this goes, but we need to start fighting this. Oh boy. Oh, this thing. Oh, actually, it doesn't feel like it's very fast anymore. It feels like it's just getting pounded by the waves. Uh, on, oh, are we good? What the heck is that noise? Uh, it already sounds like it's exploding. Uh oh. On. Uh, I want to go ahead and check below deck. Wow, this thing moves. Um, let's go ahead and check below here. What do we have going on? Uh, lights are still on, so that's a good sign. Obviously, they're still... Uh oh Oh, did all the doors shut again? No. Yes, they did. Wait, we don't have power down here, do we? Yeah, we do. Okay, so the thing's retaining power. It's just freaking out. Hold on, let's go back down below here. Sounds like the engine's running a little, a little on the sad side. Let's see if we can... Wait, did it just shut off? Hold on, look boiler okay steam pressure valve controls down all the way all right so it is building a little bit uh, actually the boiler pressure is going back and forth oh uh, it's open oh i can't open the doors anymore wait but this switch actually stays on uh i don't know what's going on here folks we are having a catastrophic failure right now all right she's definitely still idling uh let's go back up to the throttle control we're gonna hit the telegraph back and forth oh i can hardly move down here Oh, oh, wait, why can't I climb this? Uh, did my guy forget how to do the stairs? Or are we just moving that abruptly? Oh, oh boy. Okay, yeah, it's kind of weird that we have to start the sink right by the island, but oh, we are getting thrown. Oh, geez. Oh, geez, we're getting thrown around. All right, let's go back to the engine telegraph. Uh, see if we can get this thing rolling again. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, he gets so hard to move when this thing really gets, like, tilted over. All right. Let's see if we can get some more uh, power. We're, we're barely traveling right now. We're only going about three knots. So, engine telegraph. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. Let's see if we can make this go up. See, these controls should still work. There it goes. It just beeped. All right. Come on, buddy. Give me some power here. Give me some juice. Uh, there it goes. Okay. We're getting some speed again. Cool. All right, let's try to turn it and... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I don't think this thing's going to be able to handle the waves. Hold on, come on. Okay, so can confirm the rudder controls. You can see they do work. Propeller's still moving. So we still have a fighting chance here. It's just the doors and electronics are all screwed up right now. Oh, boy. Come on. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm trying to get it to turn. There it goes. It's turning a little bit now. Okay, picking up. I don't know. Its speed is so varying right now. Like, I, it feels like it's just not able to 
retain its power. Uh, reverse engines, engine telegraph, so you can control it down here? What happens when we turn this up? Alright, is this on? Uh-oh. No, it's still running. Okay, engine's running. Uh, piston pressures, everything's moving right now. It sounds like a monsoon outside. What the heck? Okay, let's keep moving. Uh, I don't know. It feels like... Wait, did power come back? Okay, the lights are on, but what about the doors? I can't tell. Uh-oh. Come on. Get up here. Uh, on. Hold that. Wait, I don't wonder. Can we hold those buttons? Wait, so this one works? Oh, no. It's it shut off again. Huh? I don't understand what's going on. All right, we're good. We have not made it far at all. <laughs> this is like a catastrophic failure, and we're still pretty close to shore. All right, well, we're doing it. We might have to hit this thing with the tsunami because I don't know if we're going to get into the gigantic waves uh, since the power keeps flickering on and off. So it might be, uh, this is going to be a tsunami survival. I don't wonder if we should go down in the deck because I don't think I want to be aboard or at least up top this thing when it goes down. So I think maybe going down to the boiler room might be the best option for us during this. Oh, boy. All right, folks, so since we can't go out really far and sink it, we're going to do the tsunami, but it's going to be pretty scary. So we're going to go into storm mode. This is going to be something we haven't done before. Now, of course, we've done storms, but we're going to go fog all the way up. So we won't know when the tsunami gets here until it's right on top of us. Uh, I'm trying to think of what I want to do. So some of the doors are propped. Actually, there isn't a door here. Uh, we might go down into the ship down this way. Uh, this might be somewhat safe, right? Okay, this is the boiler room. We're gonna get thrown around. I'm gonna try not to die. Uh oh, oh, whoa, 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 what's that noise? Uh, this thing sounds like it's blowing up right now. Oh, this is insane. All right, here we go. I'm gonna spawn the tsunami. We won't know where it's coming from. I think it does switch directions. I used to think it came from, like, east to west. But I think I've seen it come from other directions, too, so... You know what? This kind of actually feels like we're in the... What is that noise? Uh, something... Are we good? Sounds like something's exploding. So, yeah, we won't know until the tsunami is on top of us. Oh, boy. Wait, there's smoke back here. Oh, the the lifeboats are damaging the ship. Uh-oh. Uh, that's probably not good. Oh, boy. Okay. Ooh, I'm on the lookout. I'm on Tsunami Watch right now. Oh, that is making an insane noise. Uh, okay, I think I see the island over there. So, yeah, we're starting to actually drift further and further away. I think that's why the waves are getting a little bit bigger. All right, we're going to walk over here. Okay, oh, big wave, big wave, big wave. Hold on to the side. All right, we're good. Okay, I want to stay near an opening here. I think we're going to take... Is this the... Okay, that wasn't the boiler. The boiler room's up here. Uh, just stay. Keep your head up. Oh, boy. This is going to be bad. Uh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Tsunami's here. Tsunami's here. Run, 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 run. Is that it? Or is that just a big wave? No, that wasn't... Wait. Oh, here it comes. Okay, get down. I think. Is that it? Oh, look out the window. Oh! Uh-oh. That is a lot of water that's coming in. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. Wait, what was that? Why the light? Oh, no! No, the ship! It just broke in half! The tsunami pushed it in half. Uh-oh. Uh, does that mean this side's going down? Hold on, we want to be... That's the back side. It's got the lifeboats on it. Uh, I want to jump! Oh, no, no, no. Uh-oh. Uh, okay, jump! <laughs> okay, this is pretty epic now. I was a little disappointed we couldn't get that far. Oh, no, the lifeboat. I need that. Uh, oh, the ship's drifting. All right, folks, where did the other lifeboat go? Uh-oh, I think this thing's starting to go down. Uh, okay, check the back part. Lifeboat, lifeboat, lifeboat. Uh, let's see, is it... Oh, no, it's upside down. Oh, boy. Well, this might be it, folks. Uh, let's see. What can we do? I guess we could jump off and head for the water. Oh, this thing. It feels like it's trying to go down. You know, are we taking on water down below? Thought I saw. Oh, no. Don't get slammed down. I've already got hit once. Uh, what's going on down here? On. 
looks okay right now. Uh, let's see. Uh oh. Is that is that actual water in here? Am I wet? Uh, well, I'm already wet. Let's see. No, there's definitely water below us. Look, the bottom. Yeah, this thing's filling. Okay, this will not be up too much longer. All right, well, we got to hope one of those boats can flip over real quick. Oh, boy. I think the, uh, yeah, the halves are starting to slowly drift apart. Actually, I think we're drifting into an island right now. That might actually be good. Uh, we maybe should have stayed on the other side? I don't know, huh? Get to the front of the boat. Get to the front of the boat. Oh, we can hold on to the helm and go down with the ship. I'm not really sure what we're doing here. Oh, that looks insane. Uh oh. Oh, hold on, hold on. We need to hold on to the helm. Wait, there's the island right there. We need it. Wait. Wait, the lifeboat. It flipped. The lifeboat flipped. Yes. Okay. Uh, on run down. We need to get in it. Oh boy. Yeah, this. Oh, that's definitely going down. On. Does the lifeboat have damage? Uh, grab lifeboat. Grab onto the ladder. Uh. Okay. Climb into the lifeboat. Stay up. Okay. Is there a seat I can actually sit in? Uh, oh no! Oh, it just fell off the side. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. Yep. Back half. Our, oh. Okay. Well, lifeboat is not a thing. Hold on. Is there a? Uh, there's something on the back half we can get on here. Hold on. We're gonna go over to this side. This side looks like it might stay afloat. It doesn't look like it's leaking. All right. Half the boat's down. The other half's it's propped against a rock right now. I'm trying to find a way on it. Oh. Uh oh. 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 oh, 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 oh we're getting sucked into it. What the heck? Okay, stay up. Ah! Come on. Wait, I might be able to climb through a window. Let's see if we can get up there. Oh, I'm putting myself literally between a ship and a rock. That's probably not the smartest thing. All right, can we get into this window? Ah, we've almost made it back into the ship. Oh, I need some assistance here. There's not a ladder on this side. Uh-oh. Oh, wait, what? What? Wait, what? No, no, no. No, go up. What is going on? Oh no no no! Okay, go up, 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 go up! Oh no no no! I think another big wave just passed over. Come on, go 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 go! No, I'm stuck below the ship. Come on, go out this side. Go out this side, dum dum. No, no. Okay, get up. Here we go. Here we go. Ah, get up, get up. Oh, there we go. Oh man, it pinned us below the boat. You know what? We're going for the rock. Let's just go stand on the rock. And call it a day here. All right, Creative Island is right there. I'm just hugged up against the rock. All right, you know what? That was a little better than I expected. Uh, I was kind of disappointed we couldn't move out there as far as I wanted to, but those waves and having that fog like that, that was pretty intense. So I'll miss you. Wait. Wait a minute. No, 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 no. No. Come on, swim up. Swim up. Uh oh. Uh, well, we got a new, another tsunami. I thought that actually passed by us. No, no, no. No, we gotta go up. There goes the boat. On. Flashlight. No, go up. Oh, this is it, folks. There, the top of it's passing over. No, no. <laughs> oh, well, I actually thought we were free there. Uh, apparently not. Did that tsunami come from the opposite direction? Kind of looks like it. Well, folks, I thought we made it. Uh, there's the remains of the boat. I can hardly get closer to it because it's lagging so bad right now. I had actually got smashed against the rocks there. Wow, that was uh, intense. I thought, I know I had a second tsunami coming, but I thought it passed under when we got held under the boat for the first time. And I was like, okay, we're good. We'll just swim over to the rock and get on the beach. And we'll be fine. And second one came in and I couldn't swim upwards fast enough. Wow, that was something. That was actually kind of fun. I'm pretty proud of myself. Thank you, GB Danny, for the ship. I'll uh, send him over a message and see if what happened. Maybe there with the electronics, but nonetheless, a very fantastic ship. All right, so as far as the updates here, so we need to turn on advanced vehicles. You have permadef, which, like I said, pretty self-explanatory. Only one save file that is wiped upon death. That is hardcore. <laughs> I don't know if I'd want to do that mode. And then we have limited fuel, which means vehicles spawn with no fuel must be refueled from the fuel tanks around the world. And now, one thing about this, I think the more islands you buy, you'll have to start doing your own fuel system. And they finally have a use for the uh, factory island, which I think that's where you go to purchase more fuel. So we'll go limited fuel, and let's go ahead and spawn in real quick. 
And I just want to fuel vehicles just to see how this works because that's something we've never done before. All right, so we walk into here. Here's the fuel tank for inside of here. How many liters are that's uh whoa. It's actually a little over 13,000 liters. That's pretty good. All right, so we want to spawn something. So anything that I spawn in that's an advanced vehicle shouldn't have fuel in it. So if I go boom, let's say this Black Hawk, for example. Hopefully it's got a fuel connector in a decent spot. Uh, looks like it's right there. Okay, so we'll spawn this in. So this thing won't fire because it has no fuel in it right now. And it's... Oh, it's beeping. Okay. Maybe it's beeping because it's out of fuel. So yeah, fuel is at zero. So... Uh, safety off when fuel connection release. So, uh, let's see. What do we do? Connection release. Do we just connect? Uh, maybe we just connect right onto it. So we're going to go over here. Uh, let's go ahead and grab this. Actually, these roll out, which is pretty cool. Uh, let's see. Connection release. Pump to tank. Pump to hose. All right. So, oh, never mind. I thought it was going to release itself. All right. So we're going to run this over here. Okay. So this is over here. Uh, does this automatically... Okay, that's the release. We don't want that on. Off when refuel. So I'm going to turn that off. Okay, so what do we do? Does this thing... Oh, there it goes. Okay, so that's connected. So what we want to do, we're going to go over here now. And we'll go to pump to hose. Uh, is it fueling now? Let's see. Look at that! We're fueling. So they have a pump to tank. So I'm assuming you can come in with a tanker truck or a, uh, a cargo tanker, which... It would be a little awkward to run it over. You would almost want like a an input down there. That way, from the cargo tanker, say it's a ship, uh, you could have something that ran this way and then hooked up to the fuel system and refueled instead of, uh, I guess, running it from tanker to truck to here. Uh, that would be probably ideal. All right, so let's go ahead and release it real quick. Okay, so safety, we'll turn that on. All right, so... Oh, it's... No, you stay released. Okay, there we go. So the fuel, okay, it looks like it leveled out. I didn't quite fill it up all the way. Let's just confirm that we do have fuel in here. It's going to make sure this thing fires up. So we're going to go electrical power on, engine starter on. This actually, jet, wait a minute. Do I need jet fuel? I put diesel in here. Uh, oops. <laughs> Are you serious? Uh, did I put the wrong fuel in here? We probably need to dump the fuel now, don't we? Uh, hold on. We can hold that. Let's go uh, engine throttles up. I didn't even think about that. I didn't think about this thing being jet powered. Yeah, I guess that makes sense, doesn't it? So we just literally put the wrong fuel in this fuel tank. Yep. Komodo just did that. And I release it. Um, will it stay? Come on, you know you want to kick on. This is totally legit. Yep, we killed it. Uh, fuel pumps are on. <laughs> well, Komodo is just going to walk away from the situation and ignore that it even happened. But anyways, that's going to wrap it up for this episode. I just wanted to show you guys a quick update, and I wanted to check out that awesome ship. Uh, so we did a sinking Saturday, like a lot of people have been asking me to do. Uh, we will be returning with a uh, Creations episode next, and there is some big news uh, coming up from Stormworks as far as a new update. We'll talk a little bit more about that during our Creations episode, uh, because we have something that kind of relates to it. So anyways, thank you guys for all the love and support on Stormworks, and we will see you guys next time.